Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. You're the lost princess. What? <laughs> yeah, only the royals have that mark. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? You're making fun of me. I am not. I'm being serious. Save it. My dad said people would act weird when I showed them this mark. But I just didn't expect it from you. Blair, you could be in danger. Let go of me. I'm going home. You went to school? Yeah, you were right, okay? My friend made fun of my mark and started saying that I was some sort of lost princess. Lost princess, huh? Ridiculous, I know. I hope you learned your... This is the royal gods. Open the door. Go cover up your mark. But... Now, Blair, and quickly. They want to take you away. That's my daughter. See? No mark. Mm-hmm. I'm not so sure that's true. We found some makeup over here. Well, that's not Blair's because she doesn't wear makeup. Really? Well, we'll see about that. Just as I suspected, she's the princess. No, I'm not. Why are they saying that? They're lying to you, Blair. They just want to take you away from me. The only one lying is him. He is not your real father. He stole you from the kingdom. He had no reason to take me. Hmm, I guess he never told you. About what? Nothing. You have powers. Powers? Yes, all the royals do. That heart symbolizes your power to heal. I'm sure your father has used it. I covered up my mark. Good, honey. Oh. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me your hand. See, you always make me feel better. This whole time, you were using me. Of course not. Don't listen to them. I don't feel so good. Arrest him. Don't get a step closer to me, or else I'll kill her. Nobody move or I kill her. We need to cover up your mark. Nobody follows us, understand? Yes, sir, we understand. Perfect. No one can tell you're the princess now. Time to go. You can reverse your powers. All you have to do is say it. Ow! No whispering. We're leaving. You royal guards will never find us again. Reverse my powers. Oh, Blair, what are you doing? Royals' powers can heal, but they can also kill. <gasps> And this is why you don't mess with the royals. Help the princess. Yes, ma'am. Feeling better, princess? Yes, thank you. Good, because there are some people who would like to see you. Hey, they have the same mark as... me. I can't believe it. It's you. It is my pleasure to inform you that my daughter, your princess, has returned. Bye, mom. I'm going to class. Wait, let me see your neck. Why didn't you put on the makeup? I ran out. Oh, great. Well, looks like you're not going to school. What? Come on, it's so small. I can cover it with my hair and no one's even going to notice. I said no. You know what will happen if people see that mark. They'll start to ask questions. And I'll get taken away. I know. I'll buy you makeup when I get back. I love you. I love you more. I love you most. See you after work. I had a big test today, and I'm not supposed to miss it. No one's gonna notice this. I'll just take the test and come right back. Great job on your test today. Thanks. Hey, what's that on your neck? <gasps> I've seen that mark before. Let me see. Yes, that mark, it means you're royalty. What? You must be the lost princess. Legend says you have powers. Powers? What? No, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to trick me so you can take me away. Well, that's not gonna Wait. happen. I'm home. What's wrong? Something happened. Who else saw the mark? Just that teacher, but she said something about me being a lost princess. <laughs> you, a princess, please. Just look at your chubby little face. You look nothing like royalty. Uh, you must never go outside again. Never? Yes, you've been exposed. It's much too dangerous now. Don't be so sad, dear. I know. I'll go get you some food. 
You just relax, watch some TV. This just in, a teenage boy is on the run from the cops today after allegedly stealing a crown from the royal family. Mom? Mom? Jeez, who designed these locks? <gasps> that is definitely not Mom. He's probably here for my mark. Good thing I have some more makeup. Whoa, wasn't expecting anyone to be home, but hey. Stay back. I'm warning you. I'm highly trained in the art of origami. Isn't that paper folding? I was kind of hoping you wouldn't know what that was. Relax, dollface. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to stash something. So, if you'll excuse me. I just knocked him out. I just knocked him out. I wonder what he was trying to stash. A crown. This must be from the royal family. Mom's home. I gotta hide him. Riley, I'm tired. Please give me a hand massage. I will, but after. Right now, I wanted to tell you that you don't have to worry about me going outside anymore. I Quite told so. you, you it's too dangerous. Too no, cool. Mom, I can protect myself because I just- Enough! Uh, now I'm the bad guy. You didn't have to yell. I'm so sorry, Riley. I've just been so stressed out trying to keep you safe. I really need that massage. Do you feel better now? Yes, thank you. You always make me feel better, dear. Now, do you promise you won't try and go outside? I promise. I I don't know what I was thinking. That's a good girl. Well, I'm off to my date, and if all goes well, I might just bring you home a new father. <laughs> okay, um, wake up. <sighs> Whoa, what the? Did you tape me to this chair? Actually, yes. I did, but I'll be asking you questions here. I want to know why you have this. Hey! You went into my bag? You went into my house. Listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you give me no choice. I'm gonna have to do the look. Huh, that uh, usually makes the girls go crazy. What's that on your neck? <gasps> the makeup must have come off. Well, here's your bag back. Thank you. Oh, quite so. Hey, are you okay? You know, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Oh no, your bump got worse. No, it's fine, really. Hey, just let me see it. What the? It's gone. How'd you do that? I don't know. Wait, the X on your neck, healing powers? You're the lost princess. Why does everyone keep saying that? I look nothing like royalty. Have you seen my face? Yeah, I'm looking at it. That's why I call you Dollface, because you're cute. What's your real name? Riley. Well, Riley, everyone knows that the royal family had a daughter that went missing 18 years ago. And how old are you? 18. Listen, I think you may have been kidnapped. No, I know my mom, and she would never do something like that. Is that your mom in that photo? Yeah. She looks nothing like you. You should come with me. I'm pretty sure that you're in- Ugh! She's not going anywhere. <coughs> now I'm the bad guy. <laughs> Happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. All right, let's see. Not him, but definitely not him. What? Next. But I. And let me guess, this one has a great personality. <clears throat> you have offended all the princes. Wow, that was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry, I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am, and I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good, I do not wish to marry any of them. If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Are you certain that if I don't marry in three days, I shall die? Yes. You have to say yes to the first man who proposes. No, that isn't fair. Life isn't fair, darling. I can't do this. You must! I will not lose you like I lost your father! You must find a husband, do you understand? Oh, mother, I think my corset is a bit too tight. Aubrey, to meet a good suitor, you must look as fitted as possible. Hello, princess. Would you care to dance? That was fun! Shall we dance again? Oh, actually, I'm a bit thirsty. Say no more. I shall fetch you a drink, your highness. <gasps> Pardon me. I didn't mean to startle you. You weren't invited. The invitation said all eligible princes were welcome. Are you alright? My corset, it's... it's too tight. My corset, it's... it's too tight. 
Hang on, I'll help you. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Princess? What exactly was happening over here? It is not what it looks like. I was simply helping her with her dress. You two were being scandalous. No! We don't even like each other. I'm so telling everyone. You can't just go around spreading rumors about us. Hmm. You could marry her and restore your dignity, or... Is there a second option? You could also pay me to keep quiet. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we paid her so much money. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who- Princess, there you are. I must ask you a question. Will you, Princess Aubrey, marry me? I- Your mother insisted I ask you tonight. So, what do you say, Princess? Yes. Excellent. We shall be married tomorrow, and you shall be saved from death. Nathaniel, why are you here? I came to congratulate you on your engagement. You know, for a guy who doesn't like me, you sure show up at my palace a lot. Are you implying that I might have feelings for you? I would do no such thing, your highness, unless, of course, it was true. I think you've mistaken my generosity for affection. You are far from generous. Oh, really? Yes, really. I'll have you know I can be very generous. All right, then prove it. All right. I will. You kissed me. I... I would never. I am a gentleman. A gentleman does not kiss another man's bride. You have to marry me. No, Aubrey. I can't. Is it because we are rivals? No. I have to go. Now, after we are wed, I want the princess taken care of. I shall pay for you to do this. We have postponed the wedding long enough. He is trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding! That man is a fraud! Nathaniel... Someone get this fool out of here! The only fool here is you! Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be! In fact, he's not a prince at all! It's true! You were just using her to become royalty! No! I am a man of honor! No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the Queen! Whoa. Aubrey, I'm so sorry! You are almost out of time. Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until what? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey, will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Oh, no, no, no. Buzz cut is not move. I'm off to school. <laughs> what? No, I'm not choosing either. Choose. Okay. If I have to pay. Oh, Mama, I'm in love with the criminal. The choices I get are so crazy. I have to choose if he writes his test or skips. Yeah, those choices are very crazy. What? Are you insane? I'm not choosing. What's wrong? Choose. It's not even a choice. Choose. No. What's going on? Oh, please don't make me choose. Choose. Hey, sorry I'm late. Why hasn't class started yet? The teacher's on some kind of super serious phone call. Thanks for letting me know. I'll make sure everyone's safe. Goodbye. Class, there has been multiple zombie sightings. No one is going home tonight. That's impossible. What? No way. I want to go home. Don't you dare come here. How can you read at a time like this? I'm just trying to clear my head, that's all. The zombies are approaching the building. Stay calm, everyone. How can I be calm at a time like this? Just stay away from us. Oh no. The zombies. They're coming in the building. Get me out of here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? The zombies are in the building. Don't panic. I'm panicking. You better hurry up. Look out the window, some random guy is coming to the building. The bat has to be the better move. Whoa, how did you fight off all those zombies? You're so cool. Oh, you're not learning with my desk. 
I mean, it wasn't a big deal. How can we repay you? How can you repay him? He caused it! Wait, how do you? Come, you and I need to talk. How do you know that I was the one who caused this? You know the random choices we get to make for our soulmate? So you chose the apocalypse? I didn't get to choose. It said either it's an apocalypse or an apocalypse. And then when I tried not to pick, it got mad at me. That is so ridiculous. Are you really thinking of kissing me right now? What? So spill it. How did you start the apocalypse? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just I'm nervous, that's all. Don't worry. We're in this together, no matter what. Kelly, please come to the stage to receive your number. That's you. Here I go. Uncover your number, please. Ten. Yes, that's my bestie. Brianna, please come to the stage to receive your number. Please uncover your number. Zero. She's useless. What a loser. Get out of here. Wow, they're pretty brutal out there, aren't they, Kelly? Kelly. Just go, I can't talk to you. Leave before someone sees us. Welcome, our class will now be divided based on our numbers. Please sit with your fellow numbers. Hello, my fellow zeros. How does it feel to be the bottom of the food chain? I don't belong here. You don't belong here? What, you think you're better than us? Yeah, I do actually. And what makes you say that? Well, I'm an athlete, head cheerleader, lead of the school musical, and I'm popular. You're so popular? Go say hi to your number 10 friends over there. I will. Hey guys! Shut up, Zero. Come with me. I want to show you something. Okay. Here's a wall of all the fellow Zeros that went to our school. Take a close look. Why are they all so young? All of the other numbers it shows them through all their stages of life. 99% of Zeros don't make it past 25. They can only handle being outcasted and having no future or purpose for so long. You mean they... Precisely. Mom, I'm home. I had the worst day. Get out of my house immediately. Please, don't be anything crazy. I hope you didn't get a bad curse, honey. All right. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I told you to clean this room, honey. I get your baggie. Just because you're the youngest doesn't mean you don't have to clean. I get your baggie. You and I, we're just not working out. I can buy myself flowers. I'm sorry. I get some dress to play date to you. What the hell are you doing? See, this is why I'm breaking up with you. Is that your report card, honey? Let me see. Hand it over. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I need to see it. Let me tell you something. Only talking in viral TikTok sounds was really annoying. Let's hope this new curse isn't as bad. Must do everything you're... Oh, come on. I can't believe how bad your report card was. I told you I was sorry. You're still grounded for two weeks. What? Come on. How is that even fair? That's enough. Not another word from you, young lady. Mm. Stop fooling mm. around and go to school. Why haven't you been talking at all? You've been super quiet. Mm. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Can you just say something? Thank you so much. You are a literal lifesaver. That's such a cute squishmallow. You should just give it to me. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't mean to give you that. Uh, just let me keep it. Okay, you can keep it. Thank you, girly. I always wanted this one. Wait here. Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't move. Stay here. Um, Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't even move from this spot. Jillian? What are you doing? Move out of the way! Oh my gosh, thank you. So, you're the girl that's cursed to do whatever she's told. How do you know about that? Uh, you haven't seen the tweet? Jillian knew about my curse? Yeah, she tweeted it to the whole school. Now everyone's gonna try and take advantage of me. It's gonna be okay. Our curses only last for 24 hours. Tomorrow you'll get a new one. You have got to be kidding me. Hey, give me your lunch money. I know you can't resist. <laughs> give that back. Stand back and don't talk to me anymore. 
Slap yourself. Ah. Now, punch yourself. <laughs> Jillian, what is your problem? You should know. Don't listen to Jillian. Thanks. This whole curse thing just isn't... Want to give Jillian your curse permanently? What? Blake, it said I had the option to give my curse to Jillian permanently. Are you? I don't know. The option just disappeared. She did try to have you hit by a train. Yeah, but... Look, I'm just saying, after that, if I were you, I'd give that curse to her in a heartbeat. Hey. Jillian. Aw, is that a new Squishmallow? Give it to me. You give that back right now. Hmm. No, I don't think I will. What is your problem with me? I know you tried to kill me on those train tracks. Maybe because I don't want you around anymore. Why? Because Blake was my boyfriend and he broke up with me because he likes you. I can't help who Blake likes and doesn't like, and you should- Cover your mouth. I don't want to hear anything from you. Mm. Sorry, I can't understand. What did you just do? Give me back my Squishmallow. Now. No, why did I- I gave you my curse. Permanently. Wait, what? What can I say, Jillian? Karma? It's a real b- Please be something cool. Earphones. I wonder what ability this is gonna be. I guess I should try them out. Morning, honey. Oh, hey, mom. I have to tell her she's adopted. Did you just say I'm adopted? No, I didn't say that, honey. What do you mean? I'm going to school. Hey, Giselle. Oh, hey, Olivia. I'm just friends with her so I can hook up with her boyfriend. You know what? This friendship is over. What? Is it something I said? I think these give me the ability to know what people are thinking. Sweet. Giselle, you're failing this class. You got an F on your test. Well, Mr. Fitz, is there anything I could do for extra credit? Oh, she could suck on my- You know what? I'm fine with failing. This is both a blessing and a curse. What object am I getting today? A pair of glasses? What kind of ability is that? I guess I should try them on. Morning, honey. Oh, hey, mom. Wait, you used to be a stripper? How do you know that? Don't judge me. No, I'm not. I'm going to school. No way, these tell me people's darkest secrets. Hey, Giselle. You slept with my dad? What? No! Don't ever talk to me again! Since when do you wear glasses? Since this morning. You know, you should really stop crushing on teachers. What? Giselle, come on, please just go out with me. Tyler, for the tenth time, no! Oh shit! I can finally see my parents' bank account. Although I don't expect them to make much, we can barely afford the house we live in. What? My parents are millionaires? That means they can buy me my new phone. Hey mom. Hey dad. What's up sweetie? Um, can you guys please buy me the new iPhone? The new iPhone? <laughs> are you crazy? But why? There's no way we can afford that. Hey Giselle, what's wrong? Is it possible for the system to show you the wrong amount of what your parents make? No, the system is always accurate. Why do you ask? Well, because it says my parents are millionaires and they can't even buy me a new phone. We also can barely afford the house we live in. I think you need to talk with them about it. Mom, Dad, you guys are millionaires. Why are we living in this crappy house? I think we should tell her. Mom, Dad, you guys are millionaires. Why are we living in this crappy house? I think we should tell her. Tell me what? Sweetie, you're adopted. I'm adopted? Are you serious? Honey, we wanted to tell you. I can't believe you guys were keeping this from me this long. I have to go. Hey Jessica, can I please come sleep over at your house? I'm having some family issues. Yeah, of course. Thanks. Thank you so much for letting me stay here. Your family has a really nice house. I don't think I've ever met your parents before. They're usually gone for business trips. Jessica, come downstairs. They're back. Let's go say hi. Mom, Dad, this is my best friend Giselle. Hi, Mr. and Miss Smith. 
You look oddly familiar. No, surely it can't be. Mom, Dad, this is my best friend Giselle. Hi, Mr. and Miss Smith. You look oddly familiar. No, surely it can't be. Jessica, can I talk to you alone for a second? Is that okay, Giselle? Yeah, okay. Hey, I'm back. Oh, you're done talking to your parents? What did they say? They think you're their long-lost daughter. Crazy, right? Um, no. Actually, it's not crazy. My parents told me this morning that I'm adopted. Really? We need to go tell my parents right away. Mom, Dad, Giselle has something to tell you. My parents told me this morning that I was adopted. So you guys may be my biological parents. We need to go take a test to be sure. Yeah, let's go. The DNA test results just came back. Giselle, you are. Your Majesty, we found this peasant running around holding this sign begging for more words. A wordless beggar. Feed him to the dog. <laughs> Your Majesty, please help my family. You only had six words left and you wasted them on me. Your Majesty, you have infinity words and the townspeople are really struggling. You could give them all words and you'd still have infinity. And why would I do that? I run a palace, not a charity. You are one evil, evil queen. Who are you? Reveal yourself immediately. You don't deserve all those words. <laughs> Guards, a witch stole my words. Where'd she go? Give me your words. Immediately. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I cannot. Hello, Queen. You'd like to sell this crown? Too bad. I won't buy from you. These are real diamonds and gold. Yes, but you're a selfish queen, and you don't deserve any more words. Sorry, Your Majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. I've never seen you this quiet before. Word thief. Don't worry, I gave your words to someone more deserving. That servant girl, she's safe and she has infinity words now. I'm sorry, your majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. your words immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, chop off her head. What? Get over here. Hello, darling. This is for you. In infinity words? They'll be back. Come quickly. I'd like to sell these diamonds. You're trying to scam me. These diamonds are fake. I'll buy those from you. Really? Why would you do that? Is 1,000 words okay? Yes, please. Servant girl. Your Majesty. Look, I'll give you words, as many as you want. All I ask is that you promise to be kind to me. Take this. Crown? Take over as queen. Okay, class, did everyone receive their intelligence score? No way, she got a zero. <laughs> what are you doing? I need to work really hard and prove everyone wrong. Good morning, Donna. Here's your copy. Thank you. How did she become a CEO when she has an intelligence score of zero? Catherine? Uh, yes, boss? You'll be in charge of coffee runs today. No way, seriously? Seriously. Come in. Hey, I was just thinking it'd be a better image for the company if you put your intelligence score to private. We wouldn't want people thinking an idiot runs this company, right? Let them think what they want to think. I know, but... You may be excused. All right, everyone, let's begin the meeting. It's so cool to have a CEO with an intelligence score of 100. What? I can't believe you have an intelligence score of 100. You are so cool. Look at this article. You're getting praised everywhere. You're the first person in the world to reach an intelligence score of 100. So now, because I have an intelligence score of 100, everyone all of a sudden expects me? Good morning, everyone. I'd like you all to meet our new hires. 
Are you serious? These are the new hires? Their intelligence scores are extremely low. Hey boss, why did you hire a bunch of new staff that are, well, to put it lightly, dimwits? Have you spoken to any of them? No. Well, then I would like to ask you to speak with one of them, and I can assure you the staff I hire are very intellectual. Oh my. Woo, party! Boss, all these dimwits you hired through a party and they're destroying the office. Ooh, this is so pretty. No, don't! What have I done? Please be something cool. Earphones. I wonder what's ability this is gonna be. I guess I should try them out. Morning, honey. Oh, hey, mom. I have to tell her she's adopted. Did you just say I'm adopted? No, I didn't say that, honey. What do you mean? I'm going to school. Hey, Giselle. Oh, hey, Olivia. I'm just friends with her so I can hook up with her boyfriend. You know what? This friendship is over. What? Is it something I said? I think these give me the ability to know what people are thinking. Sweet. Giselle, you're failing this class. You got an F on your test. Well, Mr. Fitz, is there anything I could do for extra credit? Oh, she could suck on my... You know what? I'm fine with failing. This is both a blessing and a curse. What object am I getting today? A pair of glasses? What kind of ability is that? I guess I should try them on. Morning, honey. Oh, hey, mom. Wait, you used to be a stripper? How do you know that? Don't judge me. No, I'm not. I'm going to school. No way, these tell me people's darkest secrets. Hey, Giselle. You slept with my dad? What? No. Don't ever talk to me again. Since when do you wear glasses? Since this morning. You know, you should really stop crushing on teachers. What? Giselle, come on, please just go out with me. Tyler, for the tenth time, no. Oh, shit. I can finally see my parents' bank account. Although I don't expect them to make much, we can barely afford the house we live in. What? My parents are millionaires? That means they can buy me my new phone. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. What's up, sweetie? Um, can you guys please buy me the new iPhone? The new iPhone? <laughs> are you crazy? But why? There's no way we can afford that. Hey, Giselle. What's wrong? Is it possible for the system to show you the wrong amount of what your parents make? No, the system is always accurate. Why do you ask? Well, because it says my parents are millionaires, and they can't even buy me a new phone. We also can barely afford the house we live in. I think you need to talk with them about it. Mom, Dad, you guys are millionaires. Why are we living in this crappy house? I think we should tell her. Mom, Dad, you guys are millionaires. Why are we living in this crappy house? I think we should tell her. Tell me what? Sweetie, you're adopted. I'm adopted? Are you serious? Honey, we wanted to tell you. I can't believe you guys were keeping this from me this long. I have to go. Hey, Jessica. Can I please come sleep over at your house? I'm having some family issues. Yeah, of course. Thanks. Thank you so much for letting me stay here. Your family has a really nice house. I don't think I've ever met your parents before. They're usually gone for business trips. Jessica, come downstairs. They're back. Let's go say hi. Mom, Dad, this is my best friend Giselle. Hi, Mr. and Ms. Smith. You look oddly familiar. No, surely it can't be. Mom, Dad, this is my best friend Giselle. Hi, Mr. and Ms. Smith. You look oddly familiar. No, surely it can't be. Jessica, can I talk to you alone for a second? Is that okay, Giselle? Yeah, okay. Hey, I'm back. Oh, you're done talking to your parents? What did they say? They think you're their long-lost daughter. Crazy, right? 
Um, no. Actually, it's not crazy. My parents told me this morning that I'm adopted. Really? We need to go tell my parents right away. Mom, Dad, Giselle has something to tell you. My parents told me this morning that I was adopted. So you guys may be my biological parents. We need to go take a test to be sure. Yeah, let's go. The DNA test results just came back. Giselle, you are. Why you lie about the guy? Is it true you lied? She should have died? I didn't lie about the guy. She's not thinking clearly. Dissy, why did they time it? She's out of her mind. Seriously. Okay, I'll believe you. But I got my eye on you like glue. I can't believe my best friend's gone. Bring him back. Come on. They timed it and he couldn't rhyme it. It's the world we live in. He never wins. I don't want to be here anymore. Please, rhyme it. They time it. You have so much to live for. I don't want to see you on the floor. Anymore. Anymore. I don't know. You look down. What's with the frown? I just saw something that killed me. Your head is a mess, but you can't stress. They time it. You need to rhyme it. I just saw someone get killed. Your head is a mess, but you can't stress. They time it. You need to rhyme it. I just saw someone get killed. I wasn't very thrilled. Please, keep your mind at ease. What'd you get on the exam? Exam. Exam. Rhyme it, they time it. Hurry, you need to worry. Stop yelling at me. I can't think of what rhymes with exam. Good morning, honey. Today's nice and sunny. You're not speaking? What are you seeking? Are you scared your rhyming is impaired? You must speak. No one is allowed to sneak. You rhyme it, I'll time it. Why are you doing this to me? Tick tock, the time is on the clock. Why are you doing this to me? You rhyme it, I'll time it. Tick tock, the time is on the clock. Why are you doing this to me? Just let me be. You're safe. You're lucky. Lucky. It's your time to rhyme. You're safe. You're lucky. Come on, Brad, you wouldn't shoot me. We're partners. I'm sorry, Bob. I'm just doing my job. How are you feeling? Um. Rhyme it, they time it. Feeling? You rhyme better than anyone I know. Just go with the flow. I'm scared. You're out of time. You couldn't rhyme. What's going on? My partner's gone. Now it's your best friend's time to rhyme. Five rhymes in the given times. Five rhymes in the given times. You need to rhyme in time. You can't rhyme the same thing twice. It isn't nice. Five to stay alive. I, I don't know anymore. You don't know? It's time to go. No, my best friend, you put her to an end. You're a monster. Rhyme it. They time it. You're a monster. Tick-tock, the time is on the clock. Hey, you can't steal my gun. You're done. Happy birthday, daughter of mine. I bought you a gift that is so divine. Why am I six? You need to rhyme it. Be careful because they time it. Why am I six? This needs a fix. You get older every year. That's how it is, dear. I'm actually 17. Happy birthday, daughter of mine. I bought you a gift that is so divine. Thank you. You need to rhyme it. Be careful because they time it. Thank you for this gift. It was really on my list. Yo, bro, can I have a bite of that orange? Orange. You need to rhyme it. Be careful because they time it. Uh, I don't know what rhymes with orange. What rhymes with orange? Come on, you need to rhyme it. They time it. Nothing rhymes with orange. Dissy, you're home. Come play with me. I was all alone. Of course I'll play. How could I stay away? Perfect. You be the stepmother and I'll be the princess. Um, princess. Sissy, they time it. 
Rhyme it. You be the stepmother, I be the princess. Hurry up. They time it. Rhyme it. You be the stepmother, I be the princess. Um, princess. Sissy? They time it. Rhyme it. You be the stepmother, I be the princess. Hurry up, Sissy. They time it. Rhyme it. You be the stepmother, I be the princess. We play just like recess. I do shoot. I want to dispute. We time it and she didn't rhyme it. <gasps> She's still breathing. She might not be leaving. Please let me try and save my sister. I miss her. Go, but tell anyone about this and I'll know. She's going to be okay. You can visit her where she stay. Sissy, I miss you, little missy. One of our partners nearly killed your sister. Tell us what happened with the mister. He timed it and she rhymed it. He shot her by mistake. His mind must have been on break. Why you lie about the guy? Come on, make me something good. A penguin and a backpack? No freaking way, I love this. I got a magic wallet that gives me money. That is so cool. I know, right? What'd you get? I got a penguin backpack, but I don't really know what it does yet. I'm gonna go get some food, see you. Okay, bye. Man, I really wish I had some water. Whoa, is it just me or did this thing get heavier? No way, there is like a bunch of waters in here. This backpack must grant wishes. Okay, let's just test this again. I wish for $100 in 20s. This is amazing. I'm home. I wish for some headphones. Hey sis, what's this? Aren't you kind of old to have a stuffed animal backpack? Give it back. Wait a minute, what's inside of here? Hey, how'd you get all this money? Did you steal this money? No, it was my magic gift. It grants me wishes. Yeah, right. Prove it. All right. I wish for a necklace. Nothing happened. I must have to be holding on to it for it to work. Nice try. I know you're stealing money. You probably think you're so cool, but you're not. Ugh. Oh, yeah? How about now, Benson? That's it. Where are you? I wish to be at a friend's house. I really hope you can do that. <clears throat> Whoa! Hey! Oh, hey, Chad! Uh, how, how'd you get in here? Uh, your back door was open. Sweet! I was wondering if you wanted to come to prom with me. Yeah! I gotta check on something. Be right back. Okay. He asked me to prom, but I don't even have a dress. Wait. I wish for a red dress that's kind of fitted, but not too fitted. You know what I mean, Penguin. Just work your magic. Oh my gosh, yes! This is perfect! I should also wish for some accessories and- Hey, there's some cops in the front of my house and they say they're- Girls, the letters from your soulmates have arrived. One for you, Franny, Yay. and one for you, Olivia. Thank you, mother. Is there one for me? Why, yes, dear. <laughs> this is yours. It's empty. How fitting. What is that supposed to mean? The only person who could love you is- No one. <laughs> <laughs> There has to be some sort of mistake. There's not even a stamp on this envelope. The king himself sends out these letters. Are you questioning his authority? No, I just... There has to be a note for me or something. Mother, you have something for her. Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I do. What's this? A list of chores that need to be completed. You shall not eat until they're done. So get to it. Ah, oh, no. My letter... She threw it away? It has the royal stamp on it, which means my soulmate letter is from the prince. I look forward to seeing you at the royal ball. Sincerely, Prince Anthony. My soulmate is the prince. No one can know about this. Brielle, pour me my tea. Yes, ma'am. Mother, we have nothing to wear to the ball. We need some more dresses. You have plenty of dresses that you can wear. Don't be selfish. What did you just say? Ooh, she's gonna get it now. You should apologize to mother. I... <gasps> that wasn't my fault. She... she pushed me. You idiot. I am so sorry. <sighs> Come here. You're staying in here tonight. No, please. Please let me out. Hello? Anyone? Brielle. Wake up! Olivia, what are you doing? I'm gonna help you. Make a wish! How many years did it give you? Ten! 
She has to get married at 17. She won't even be an adult. Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's going to be the picky type. <laughs> Your 17th birthday is in one week, and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up, and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my day's laugh will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No! My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes, my mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your Wishing Rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were going to help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, Princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, Father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my day's left turned back to red, and remember Mother said- Your mother is gone. And I will not lose you two over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you? I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? You'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you... I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry. I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh! Make your wish. I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you alright? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. it's okay. Everything's all right now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You used the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or, you know, you could stay, if... If you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, princess. Ooh, mommy's makeup. No! You can't ever put anything on your face. Anything that touches your face becomes permanent. Now that blush will be on you forever. What? Mom really wasn't lying. It's never gonna come off. Hey, Brianna, you got some lipstick on your cheek. 
Here, use one of my makeup wipes. No, it won't come off. Anything that touches my face is permanent. What? <laughs> Brianna, you're so funny. Want to come over to my slumber party tonight? Sure, I'd love to. What should we do now? How about a pillow fight? <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Here, you need to look at yourself. You look so silly. Do you know what you guys just did? Ooh, mommy's makeup. No! You can't ever put anything on your face. Anything that touched your face becomes permanent. Now that blush will be on you forever. What? Mom really wasn't lying. It's never gonna come off. Hey, Brianna, you got some lipstick on your cheek. Here, use one of my makeup wipes. No, it won't come off. Anything that touches my face is permanent. What? <laughs> Brianna, you're so funny. Wanna come over to my slumber party tonight? Sure, I'd love to. What should we do now? How about a pillow fight? <laughs> Good night, everyone. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. Night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Here, you need to look at yourself. You look so silly. Do you know what you guys just did? I like your shirt. Thank you. It's pink, my favorite color. It is? I wouldn't know. I can't see color. Why not? Mommy, why can't I see the color pink? Honey, it's time we have a talk. You'll only be able to see color when you meet your soulmate. Hey, Brianna, what color is this pen? I don't know. <laughs> she can't see color until she meets her soulmate. Hey, babe, don't let them get to you. Hey, babe, are you still fine being with me, even though you're not my soulmate? Come on, you know I don't care about that. Let's go to the movies after school. Yo, bro. Hey, Jason. Brianna, you have to meet my buddy, Jason. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Gummy, gummy. Who was the girl that left the house this morning? How do you know her? Come on, she was just a friend. It's not like that. What's my name? Come on, baby. Don't do this. If you didn't cheat, then tell me my name. Mommy, why doesn't Daddy know your name? Because, sweetie, Daddy cheated on me. When you cheat on someone, you forget the name of the person you cheated on. Hey, baby. Brianna, don't worry. I could never forget your name. I know. I'm just paranoid because my dad cheated on my mom back when I was seven. I love you. I would never cheat on you. Jason's having a party after school. Want to come? Sure. Hey, you made it. Here, have a drink. Thank you. <laughs> Blake, you're so funny and so cute. Well, you know, I... Blake? Uh, uh, b b baby, hi. Why don't you know my name? Daddy. I made you lunch, just how you like it, PB&J. Thank you. Honey, do you need a lunch? No, I got one. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning, Dad. It's my first day of high school. I'm so nervous. How about a homemade PB&J sandwich? Will that help? Of course it will help. Morning, Dad. You know what I'm really craving for lunch today? How about a PB&J? How did you know? Must have been a good guess. Dad? Dad? I'm off to college. I could really use one of your PB&Js. Honey, it's time to go. Are you ready? Where's Dad? He makes me PB&Js every single morning. Dad, are you feeling okay? Yeah, why? Your father's been dead for over 10 years. Let's play a game. Selected. Why would you do that? One of us is going to die now. Yes, but one of us is going to get money. What game are we playing? A game of odds. Heads or tails? Tails. All right, I choose heads then. No, it's tails. Uh, a redo? <sighs> Just the granola bar? Yes, how much? Let's play a game. Selected. What game? Go fish. The ten of hearts? Go fish. <sighs> Joker. What? How did you know? You're a cheater! Um, I'm home. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words.
Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. One of us is going to die now. What game? What? You need to choose a game. You need to choose one you're good at. So that you can live. No, I don't want you to die. Sissy, just choose a game. Okay, how about we draw toothpicks? Whoever chooses the shortest stick loses. This is a game of luck. You're supposed to choose a game you're good at. I don't know what game I'm good at. You choose first. I got the short stick. Wait. Let's play a game. I want to make a deal with you. If I win the game, you spare my little sister. But if I lose, you kill us both and you get double the prize money. Deal. What game are we playing? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. scissors. Oh, another day, another charge. <clears throat> what? Mom, I need to borrow your charger. No, I'm using it. I'm only at 10%. I'm going to die. Here, hurry up. <clears throat> it's not working. Let's try this. That's the emergency charger. This is an emergency. <clears throat> it didn't work. There must be something wrong with my charging port. Did I hear something wrong with the charging port? Hold still. Hold what? What happened? You made it worse. I'm at 2% now. There's one more thing we can try. Come with me. Wait. So, you need more charge? Yeah, my dad says you know what to do. <laughs> I have just the thing. Dad, this guy seems sketchy. Put this to your charging port, and whatever you do, don't move. Wait, why can't I move? No questions, just do it. I am tired of getting electrocuted. Look at your energy. 200%? But that's not even possible. I have so much energy. I feel so great. My energy hasn't went down all day. Not even 1%. That's great, but maybe you should take a break, Brianna. Not a chance. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I feel great. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I really do. My energy is at its max, and I am loving it. Woo! Aw, <laughs> you're so silly putting stickers on your face. <laughs> no, you killed your big sister. You can't ever laugh. It kills people. Look what you've done. Sissy. Here, before coming into the classroom, you must put this tape over your mouth. Why? It's a precaution issued by the school board, as kids are the highest risk for laughter. I don't want to wear the tape anymore. You must wear it. <laughs> We're just kids. He didn't do it on purpose. Listen, kid. I saved your life. You could have died. You should be thanking me. Mommy, you forgot to pick me up from school. Good evening. Police officer. There was an incident of laughing at your mother's work. She didn't make it. Stop laughing. Stop laughing. What's going on here? You killed Officer Brad. Uh-oh. We're gonna need backup. Did you hear? She killed three police officers when she was seven. You know I can hear you, right? I was just a kid. I was traumatized from my mom just passing away. I couldn't control it. You're a murderer. A psycho. I can't listen to this any longer. Hey, are you okay? I can't believe what they're saying about you. I'm used to it. Wanna hang out after school? There's somewhere I wanna show you. We're almost there. Where are you taking me? We're here. In the middle of nowhere? You know those three police officers you killed? One of them was my dad. <laughs> Sissy! Oh no. Ellie? Sissy! Ellie! Did they lock you in the cabinet? Hurry, I'm losing oxygen! No, this better be the one. Ellie! I'm so glad you found me, it was so scary. They took me and hid me in the cabinet. This game is sick. Brianna, why do you look so down today? My little sister was chosen to be hidden this morning. I almost didn't find her in time. How about we make a pact? Pinky promised that if either of us gets hidden, we'll find each other. Pinky promised. It's your turn to be hidden. It's your turn to hide. Get in there. Where did they lock me? 
Help! Help! I was chosen to play hide and seek. Please, someone find me! Help! I don't have much time left. Help! Jake! Did you call my name? Jake, you found me. Of course I did. I promise you. I can't believe they locked you in a locker. It was awful. Well, it's a good thing I found you in time. You're the best, Jake. Girl, there you are. I was wondering what happened to you. You weren't in class. I got chosen to play hide and seek. Luckily, Jake was there to save me. Hey, it was nothing. I'll catch you later. Catch you later, Jake. Wait, you dropped us. You make a wish. How many years did it give you? Ten. She has to get married at 17. She won't even be an adult. Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's going to be the picky type. <laughs> Your 17th birthday is in one week, and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up, and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my day's laugh will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No! My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, Princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes, my mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your wishing rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were going to help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my day's left turned back to red, and remember mother's... Your mother is gone. And I will not lose you two over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you... I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you... I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry. I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh! Make your wish. I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you alright? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. it's okay. Everything's all right now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You use the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? 
I'm going to lock it away somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or you know, you could stay if, if you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay. 